Andre, what's the context here? Hmm. So, you know, uh, clearly one one thing is like post uh, Jan uh, 24th Hindenburg uh, report, uh, Barclays, the go-to banker for Dani Group is intensifying its scrutiny. Uh, it is a natural progression or natural fallout rather, but Dani Group has uh, denied this vehemently saying that uh, uh, Barclays is one of the banks which have organized or rather facilitated the meeting, a global investors meeting when uh, this research report uh, made its allegation. And and so Barclays were also helping the conglomerate to arrange the roadshows. That's one bit of it. And they also said that they could uh, conclude a deal uh, with the help of a lot of uh, investment bankers and bankers uh, during February to raise $213 uh, million. And Barclays could not take part of because Barclays typically don't uh, participate in project financing. So that is the reason Barclays could not uh, take part of it. And they say that Barclays is not the top banker when it comes to total international banking relations of Adam. And Adani repeatedly said that they never defaulted and their relations with these uh, global banks continue to be robust. Now, Sanjay, this is taking place, and interestingly enough, uh, or really, well, for one, where Haslinda is today, obviously, the, you know, the G20 is taking place. Of course, that's the hometown. Uh, the other thing, too, is, you know, some of the AGMs taking place today. It, it's almost like the news gods have come together and gifted us with this. What are we watching out for as far as these AGMs are concerned for some of these companies? You're right. Uh, the flagship company, Adani Enterprises Limited and Adani Total Gas uh, uh, Limited, both are holding their shareholders meeting over today. It's going to be virtual, uh, so, and we are expecting the critical speech by Gautam Adani, chairman of Adani Enterprises, where it, he will lay out the CapEx plans and the impact of uh, the Sindenberg report. And, uh, you know, it will also clarify various details and its robust relation with uh, international banks. And uh, in investors are uh, waiting, keenly waiting for the expert um, committee's uh, findings on uh, whether there's any wrongdoing from the company or not. So uh, people would be watching the chairman's speech critically and uh, they would be also looking for the uh, road ahead and uh, including CapEx plan, whether there will be a tone down in CapEx uh, plans or not. They, so uh, the street would be keenly watching for the announcements, uh, you know, putting forth by the chairman Gautam Madani.